Thank you very much. Welcome back, Ben and Joanna, to Holyrood. People now just digesting the white paper. There is an awful lot to read, but people are working their way through their specialist sections if they possibly can. Let's discuss some elements of what is contained in this very large document. Professor Bill Buchanan is with me from Napier University. He's the director of CDCS, the Centre for Distributed Computing and Security there. Hello, good afternoon Hello. to you. Yeah. Uh, a thought first of all about Trident, because we knew it would be a big issue. We've seen that promise pull Trident out within the first yeah. year of a parliament is what's said. Yeah, I, I think uh, many people in the nation know that that we may be coming to the end of uh, Trident if we go towards independence. Obviously, uh, defence is a very important industry for, for Scotland. There are many jobs dependent on it. Uh, but really, the whole, uh, the whole way forward uh, with defence is, is changing. Obviously, Scotland must you look to the North Atlantic, look towards uh, fishing, protection of oil and gas, and so on. So they, the, the days of the traditional tight warfare using nuclear weapons hopefully have actually gone and I think it's very important that Scotland obviously look to the future and future types of industries and certainly from my point of view I'm very keen that Scotland uh, looks at the cyber defence because the internet is now playing a much more important role uh, with inside uh, our country and obviously for our economic, our enterprise activities then our cyber infrastructure, our internet infrastructure is so key. Just now we're very dependent upon other nations of the world to be able to support and, and defend against that critical infrastructure. So really it's a changing landscape and obviously things like Iraq have really caused uh, people to really think about what war modern warfare is. And certainly if Scotland was to become independent then we're probably looking more at a, a peaceful intervention rather than some sort of strike against uh, other nations. Sure, obviously I mean, we're, we're a small nation uh, and, and we wouldn't have the capability to, to really uh, uh, look at, at, at any sort of attacks against other nations. So you don't see any contradiction between getting rid of the desire to get rid of Trident and, and re maintaining membership of NATO? Uh, well obviously it would, be a, it would be on different conditions. We'd look to be part of a, of a peaceful confederation uh, rather than to be one of the main nation states and uh, but I, I think I'd like to reinforce uh, that the cyber infrastructure, uh, small nations such as Estonia were attacked by Russia and, and you can actually bring down the whole infrastructure of a, of, of a, of a country uh, if you don't defend your, your internet and, and abso cyber. Absolutely, and, and it's a new frontier in, in terms of defence and security and, and yeah. it's an issue that's talked about in relation to the UK as a whole. So there might be people listening to you thinking, well, that all makes sense, but, but can't Scotland pay attention to its, its cyber security as part of the UK? Does it need to be independent to tackle it, that? I, I think no matter which way the independence debate goes, we need to really think about the risks that our, com our country is really facing uh, just now. So whether that is part of a UK infrastructure, we need to understand where our main communications channels are, where uh, our key industries have the infrastructure, especially around the finance sector, Oil and gas is actually key. Any outage of any of these types of industries could cause major damage to the, to the, to the, uh, the economy. So I think no matter which way it goes, then it's important for Scotland to look at this, the cyber infrastructure that it has and to make sure it can defend itself. And also to use the internet, the cyber infrastructure for positive means to improve ed education uh, and, and so on. All right, very good to have your perspective. Thank you, Thank you very much indeed. Bill Buchanan from Napier University. Thanks for joining us here at Holyrood.